Hey, 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 and welcome to your LEGO Brick channel. In today's update, we're gonna focus on the streets. As I told you in the previous, previous update, there's a lot of work to be done on the streets, such as adding more benches, more bins, more road signs, changing the color of this sidewalk from dark bluish gray to light bluish gray, and removing those weird grass areas. And the most important thing, adding such green areas instead so with borders flowers trees something really cool and beautiful i'm not sure if it's the final uh, version of my uh, green areas but it's almost how can i say that almost close to what i want uh, but i will work on this in today's video of course so yeah i guess that's what we're gonna do today Oh, and also I'm going to keep this subscribe account on one of the roofs and try to update it time to time so you can still have a, the count of the subscribers of the channel. That's kind of cool, I guess. So yeah, let's dig into it. And now all the tiles are light bluish gray and man, it looks way better this way. I just added some patterns on the floor so it cuts the only gray effect and we have like different colors and I think it's way better like this also. So just here I replaced the light bluish gray by dark bluish gray. I kept the uh, dark blue and tan, dark tan uh, colors. I've added some dark tan colors every day and then just here at the at the door entrance, uh, the back door sorry. Um, in here I've changed the brown plates by a green plate, added some flowers, the tree is still the same but I'm still planning on making a more realistic one, a better one since it is a big tree I want it to be the best as possible so this will definitely change and I've added a small uh, green section with some borders which adds a nice touch on the background of this building so that's for building number one i guess and this is the other section of assembly square i've just changed the tilings once again there's not not more stuff added and on the back street i've also uh, added some tiles so this way it is neat and it is completed so i guess this is done, now we can go back and work on the streets. Well guys, I did it! Plenty of green plants to add into the streets of the LEGO city. So as you can see there are small bushes, bigger bushes, flower bushes and even a cool tree. And man, aren't they looking amazing! I really love this building technique and these bushes and trees will add so much life to the LEGO city because yes, to me, green stuff adds life to a city. So I've mainly used those three parts to make these bushes and it's looking fantastic. I really love these and yeah, I don't know what to say. I've also tried to use different colors. So there's lime green, there's dark green and there's casual green, I guess, like basic green. Uh, so those are the three colors I've used for the leaves and I've used those dark green flower stem and uh, those purple ones. I don't, I'm not sure if it's called flower stem, but I, I would rather say flower. Anyway, we're gonna have to build some places to add all of those bushes, so let's do that. Well, let's get a closer look at what I made. So, as you can see, I made some squared borders in which we're gonna place the bushes. If you're wondering how I made these, it's really simple. I've built um, this squared with 1x2 plates and 1x2 tiles on top of it. And here, I've just used two parts with uh, one stud in the center of the plate. One 2x2 two two and one 1x1. One one. And I simply placed this here. And now we have the perfect space to fit uh, the trunk of our bushes and there's plenty in the streets. 
so we will be able to add all of those bushes bushes sorry <laughs> so i've also made those um borders with green areas on which i will be able to place some flowers as you can see here is a bigger one here again smaller ones this is for the park entry entrance uh, and here is for also the park entrance uh, so I still have to work on the park actually and this will come after this episode of course and also a bigger one here I ran out of these parts in dark dark bluish gray so I've used light gray instead light bluish gray instead sorry so I still need to place some flowers here 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 here, here. yeah <laughs> so yeah let's do this and fill the streets with green elements The streets are already looking way better with these placed in, so as you can see, I'm just giving you some shots of the streets, it is way better. Of course, I will add more trees, I'm thinking of adding another one over there, and I might change those flowers for something else, but that won't be for this video, I will keep these in the meantime, if I come with something else, I will change later on. So for now, let's go and fill up those uh, green places. As you can see, I've added those flowers in the green areas. And this is for the tree I will add later on. I've also added a fire hydrant, a bin, a bench, another bin over there in front of the police station and here I've added another bean and here another fire hydrant. I was about to add more benches but I was like yeah there's gonna be some benches in the park so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go easy with benches because there will be benches everywhere so I think it's okay like this because we also have benches around this uh, tree so I think there's enough spaces for minifigures to sit on. Oh, and I've updated the subscriber count, so if you want to make it go higher, don't forget to subscribe, and also like the video to support the channel. Well, that's all for today's update, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more, stay tuned, because next update will be about this park. So, that's all for me, and see you in the next one.